Hey guys, got a little project here. Um, I've always been interested in trying to turn a flywheel and a stator of a four-wheeler engine or a dirt bike or whatever into just an alternator, you know, so you could bolt it onto, say, uh, a 212 or a 420 or GX200 or GX390 or even the 670 that has electric start. Um, those engines don't have a very good charging system on them. Um, pretty much, they're only capable of like recouping the battery um, after you run it for probably a good while. Actually, recoup it from just starting it once. Um, this right here would only be capable of running a 55 watt headlight, or you could run several LED lights. Uh, this is rated at, from what I could find, about 110 watts. So if you had like 50 watts worth of LEDs, which would be quite a bit of lighting, um, this would easily power that and charge the battery back up while you're driving it around. Um, what I got to do here is make a shaft that fits this, fits these bearings. Uh, these bearings aren't sealed, so I will have to make it so that these are inside of the casing. Make an outer casing for it. Um, some of the benefits behind this is that it'll be about half the size of a typical alternator. Um, it doesn't be, it's not required to be energized, so if it's just sitting still doing nothing, it's not using any current. Uh, when it starts spinning, um, it'll, you know, produce current. It's also made to be ran one to one, uh, whereas a car alternator would be required to run two, three, or even four uh, times overdrived in order to produce current. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to get started on it. All right, here's what I got so far. Um, see if I can uh, hold it up and spin it. Set you guys down. Excuse the camera work. Right now it's kind of clunky because it's holding it. Let's see if I can turn it around. Uh, yeah, we're going to use this right here as an outer case. Uh, let's see if I can. Let me see that it, it just fits. So it's small as it can possibly be and still allow me to have enough wall to like drill and tap to put caps on there. Um, here is one of the bearings. Ends. Basically, what's going to happen with these? These will get welded to steel plate. The steel plate will be bolted to here, and uh, this will be cut cut to length. This is a piece of scrap, not from work. It's got uh, material defect lamination, and uh, the uh, the shaft in here I got from work too. We have a. Uh, sell chrome bar at work and we cut off like a foot of each end because it's a lot of times it's out around and uh, sometimes even bent on the ends and it uh, isn't chromed as well on the end so we cut off both ends and just just throw it in the scrap so but uh, I had to put little risers in here because the, there's little brackets and stuff that holds the wiring uh, makes it clearance for the wiring right here, but you know overall length of this thing probably be that long, so it'll just be able to sit in your hand. Uh, it's five and a quarter, I think this is five and a quarter OD. That's what it is? But uh, this is kind of interesting here. I never seen one of these stators like this. Just be three yellows coming out. And there's four. I put money on that two of these are tied together at the source, but in the past they've uh, actually spliced. Basically, one of these is going to power the, DC, the AC CDI. 
I've taken these wiring harnesses apart before and I usually just had one of these wires spliced at some point within the wiring. Here they went all the way to the source. Alright, so uh, up next we'll uh, I'll get it all inside of there. Probably won't see anything else as far as internals until then. But uh, I'll also like to add this flywheel is pressed fit to this shaft. Matter of fact, it's like almost too press fit. You can kind of see a little bit of a, or it kicked out a little bit of a, but uh, it'll never come loose. It's not really under a whole lot of stress. It's just, um, you know, this turning over magnet, or this magnet turning over the coils. So, yeah. All right, guys, got it all done. This is a 5 8 shaft coming out here. Um, this tubing here is somewhere around half inch thick. So, I mean, this thing ended up being about the size of a small, probably Denso alternator. But um, the benefits behind it is you don't have to energize it. If it's sitting still, it's doing nothing. And if it's spinning, it's charging. Um, I can weld any kind of mount on here that I want. So I could tuck this guy in anywhere I want on the whatever I stick it on. And uh, I can weld whatever I want to it. I did figure out this right here is I put a knot on this wire it's a duplicate to the other basically two of these wires go to the same source so I just tied one of them off um, basically when I had it spinning it'll arc across each of them but you'll find one that this one will not arc on because it's a duplicate um, little note about these things is that this ground is almost worthless on here there's no use to it at all because if you fasten this to the engine or uh, fasten this to the chassis it's going to be it's it's grounded and then these yellow wires only produce you know, cross current between each other they won't so if you had you know, just like for instance, you was trying to get source to ground from one of these to this ground to this light bulb, it won't do anything. It it uh, it has to have you know current to each other. So you would get power out of one of these legs if you was trying to use it to ground. Say if these two was hooked to something and doing something, then you could probably get power off of here to ground. But anyways, we're going to, I made a little chuck piece to be able to put on the 5.8 shaft, tighten it down and put it on a drill so I can spin it. But I was just trying to be quick about it. You can see that it's thinner on this side and thicker on this side. So it causes the whole thing to wobble all around when I'm trying to spin it. But that's all this was made for was just to uh, show you guys power, you know, when I power it up. So the off balance is due to this. And once I'm done with this, I'm going to throw this away. All right, so uh, I'll get the drill out, and uh, I'll show you guys this thing light up that light bulb. All right, see if I can hold the camera and uh, hold this thing all at the same time. But, uh, well, here we go. Do, uh, I'll do reverse, spinning the opposite direction. So there it is. Um, I looked it up, and to get an alternator like this on uh, on eBay, it's like well over a hundred dollars. Granted, they have a higher output than what this will, but what I want to for what I want to use this for. I mean, you couldn't power a car with this, but you could power. Uh, some kind of off-road machine. I also kind of got to thinking about it. even guys that has pull start. This would be handy because you can power your lights. Even though you got to get off to you know start your unit up, you to be able to power your lights and not to worry about running a battery dead. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys next time.